All right. Hello. Hello, you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Okay. All right, okay. so let's get directly into it. Okay, go ahead. We are listening. Okay, so first of all, I would be very uh, glad about the victory. You hung up the other day when you quoted Surah Shara. <laughs> you had victory? You hung up. Okay, you ran so, away. Okay, hold on. So why you don't download the video and post it in your channel? You never let me finish. No, 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 hold on, stupid, it, stupid. It. Just you see, as long as it's a victory, I challenge you to download the whole video put it in your channel. As long as it's a victory. Mm -hmm. So you see how stupid you are? If it's a victory... And now you... Oh, just, 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 no, potato, potato. I challenge you. I wanted to swear by Allah that you will take the video. The video is still there. You go and you download it and you put it in your channel and you call it victory against Christian Prince. I challenge you. But you will mm -hmm. never do that because you're ashamed of yourself. So you are a liar. You are laughing at yourself. You claim victory, but you don't want to publish the victory you just did. Mm. Mm. <laughs> no, no, don't don't name me, don't hit me. I want you to promise me now in front of everybody that you are going to publish it in your channel. And not only that, you publish it on all Abdul channels. Because mm. aren't you proud about it? Obviously, you are not. You are a potato. Don't you want I an answer? You, Abdul, I hang up on you because I washed the, the floor with you. You became like a ministry, the, 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 the demonstration rag, which Muhammad, he used to clean himself with it when he take a shower. So you are used and abused and I throw you away when I'm done. So if you go and watch it, you want me to play it for you again? We will die laughing. You yeah. admitted that you're a prophet. He's a bad person. You I never said that. No. Okay. What do you mean you never said that? I never, that, those what, words never came was, out my what mouth. Was, what was the topic? Remind me. Uh, Surah Ashura, chapter 42, verse 52. Okay, what what we say? You, you were speaking a bunch of nonsense because you don't understand. When I try to answer you, you hung up. Okay, what, you, what we are saying? Remind me. Go ahead. Okay. Can you post the verse again? No problem. Okay. Thank you. And? Don't hang up this time because people will laugh at you now. No problem, go ahead. Again, if you are a person who claims to be having victory, be a man and publish the video, it's there. Yeah, I don't need to publish it. No, you need to publish it because it's a victory for Allah. Aren't you, are you ashamed of a victory you made for Allah? Here we go. Mm. Farid, Farid published a lot. Fifi <laughs> uh, he, 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 don't dare to call me too. Oh, you are the same. You are better than him actually. You, you, you dare to call me. That girl, she don't dare. I do call you. No, you dare. So I'm saying you are better than him. You have, you know, you have a, you know, you are better than him. That's what I'm saying. But still, you are better than him. But still, you are more stupid than him. Okay. You are better we'll, than we'll him post because the you verse call me. We'll see who's stupid. Okay, let's see. You, you said the chapter of Asharh. Forty-two, fifty-two. Oh, a shower. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Uh huh. All right. Uh, read it for us. You posted something else. Oh, no problem. Just read. It. Don't you know the Quran? I thought the Muslim they recite the Quran by heart. Yeah, but I would uh, obviously. But I would like the audience to see. Oh, okay. That's good. That's a good. Th the good thing. All right. Read it for us. Hold on. It's loading. <coughs> Mm -hmm. Okay. We are waiting. You're on verse 48. There you go. Okay. So, and thus... Have we, by our command, sent inspiration to thee, though knewest not before what was revelation? Hmm. Obviously, not before what was revelation, because the Quran wasn't revealed. So how would he know what it is when it wasn't revealed? Hmm. That answers the first part. And what was faith? Meaning the Quran, because Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam wasn't a prophet. No. He wasn't a prophet until the Quran was revealed. You okay. know that he was a prophet at the age of forty. That's deep. Okay. So before forty, okay. what he was? Before forty, what he was a believer in what? He 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 was a Muslim. He believed in Allah, but he didn't have the faith as when the Quran okay, came. Okay, hold on, guys. He was a Muslim. Did you hear that? He was a Muslim, and because he believed in one God. Okay, 
But does it say, does it say that he did not know what was faith? Meaning like, like, like as when the Quran came. What as in the, the understanding? No, no, he did not have faith, nor he have faith, nor he have revelation. He know nothing about revelation. So if he's a believer in Allah, it's mean he received some revelation from somebody else, from a prophet before him. Like for me, I did not receive revelation, but still I know what revelation is. Because there's a prophet who taught me what is revelation. So you're a prophet in the Quran confirmed that he did not know nothing, zero about any revelation not his revelation it doesn't say quran it says he did not know what is what was revelation was was and he nor he have any faith so you're a prophet you have two things together zero revelation that's mean he never heard of abraham revelation he never heard of Moses' revelation. He never heard of Jesus' revelation. He have no idea. In the top of that, he is a pagan. He have no faith. Answer, go ahead. Okay. In order to, since you don't believe in what I'm saying, because you clearly say I'm dishonest, and you always go to tafsir with other Muslims, let's go to the tafsir and you understand what Ibn Abbas says, okay. and he will destroy your okay. argument. Okay, I, wanna, I want you to tell me, do you accept Ibn Abbas? Obviously, I do. I okay. never said I don't. So, do you swear by Allah that whatever I show you from Ibn Abbas, you will not say no? Go to tafsir.com. Yes. No, don't, don't, no, swear. I want you to swear. Whatever you show me from Ibn Abbas, I will accept. You're not Muslim. What? What does this have to do You're with You're not it? Muslim. What? You are not a Muslim. What does this have to do? I'm asking you to swear by Allah, not by my shoes. Okay, well, you don't believe in Allah anyway, so go to the you verse. Be, you believe in Allah, you donkey, don't you? I do, yes. Okay, so go swear by Allah. Tafsir. Swear by Allah, because in a second you will change your mind. You will say, I don't accept. I read it before I told you. Uh, but I know, I, because you read it before you told me. This is why you are asking me to show it to you, but I'm asking you. Can you swear by Allah that whatever Ibn Abbas, he say you accept? Are you going to go there or make things long? You go there. Why you don't go. want to swear, why you don't want to swear by uh, that Ibn Abbas is the one to guide you to Islam? Go to the tough seat. Potato. Why you don't time. want to swear that whatever Ibn Abbas he says he you accept? I told you I accept it. So go. Okay. So whatever he say, not only about this verse, correct? About this verse, we're ah, talking about this specific. Topic. Ibn Abbas is a donkey when he speak about different verse. He is no, no, smart no. only about this verse. You see how stupid because no, look, you see look, the hypocrisy. Listen, no, listen, no, listen, no, listen I'm not Abdul, saying that. Abdul Potato, I'm, you are I'm a not saying you that. are a hypocrite like you're a prophet because either, I'm not saying that. either Ibn Abbas is a qualified person to explain the Quran or he is not. So when you it, say to me only this verse, that means Ibn Abbas he was doing poo poo all over the Quran. I didn't, I didn't say it that way. Okay, you're, so you're, you're not said, getting the so, no, I, I, you said it that you, you said only this verse. Can you listen for one second? I'm listening. Do you accept Ibn right. Abbas explaining all the Quran or only this verse? No, everything. You accept everything but, you say. I do accept everything he says, but before you okay, continue, hold on. No, before no, no, you no, continue, no, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, continue. hold on, hold on, because you accept whatever Ibn Abbas he says, we need to examine what Ibn Abbas he says. Can we do that? Can I say something before you? You go? can say no. Why you don't want Ibn okay. Abbas? Why you don't want Ibn Abbas with the problem? Do you want Ibn Abbas or not? I want to put the dots together before okay. you go, so, so that way afterwards okay. you don't say so, that I'm making so up stories. No, listen, so you accept Ibn Abbas, and whatever Ibn Abbas he says, Ibn Abbas is saying, and we accept, yes or no? I'm telling you, but before you go, I want to say something very important, so that way afterwards you, can say you don't say I'm making up you, stories. You can say whatever you want. Okay. This is Ibn Abbas. I, okay, this is Ibn I, Abbas who understands the Quran very well. Everybody okay. will laugh at you in a second and you will say, I don't believe in that. Here we go. go ahead. From the narration About of Ibn, listen, from the narration of Ab Ibn Abbas, he said, the interpretation of Allah saying Qaf, he says, Qaf is an azure mountain overlooking the world and the color of the sky takes from it. Allah swear by it. Do you agree with Ibn Abbas? What? 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 I, I can't even hear you. Oh, he don't hear me now. Ibn Abbas saying that Allah, he swear by a mountain, it's called the mountain of Qa. And that Qa mountain is surrounding the earth and the sky is a blue because this mountain is azure blue mountain. Do you what, agree? Is, what, is that, what does that have to do with verse 52? Because you said Ibn Abbas can explain the Quran. So he is the guidance to explain. So he, should not, he cannot be wrong. 
So, so you, why are you okay. why are you jumping was, from topic not, to topic? I'm, I'm finish not, one I'm topic. Not jumping, I'm just here. showing you the hypocrisy. Do you accept what Ibn Abbas says or you don't? You said you accept Ibn Abbas. Finish one topic and then we will go here. We are finishing one topic first. Is is Ibn go Abbas, there first and we'll Ibn go Abbas here after. Accepted by you. We'll go here after. You finish said, that first. You Stop said jumping. We are finishing. You said you accept Ibn Abbas. Go there first, finish and it, and we will go there. here. This is Ibn Abbas. Do you accept? This is Ibn not verse fifty-two. Do you accept Ibn Abbas or not? This is not verse fifty-two. L listen, guys, this is not verse not fifty-two. What, what what are you talking about? Even you do not know how to quote the verses. I'm asking you. Aren't you the one who chose Ibn Abbas to explain the Quran? Yes or no? You you brought up the topic. Exactly. You brought no, up you the topic. You are the one who called me. You are the one who called me. You chose the topic for now. We were talking about something else about how your prophet died, and you chose the topic. I ask you, do you accept Ibn Abbas? Because we want to be sure that you are not a hypocrite, and Ibn Abbas <laughs> is the person who can explain the Quran. So then you first said in the beginning you said only this verse and then you took it back because everybody started laughing at you and then it says no no everything Ibn Abbas says the whole Quran this is the Quran so if Ibn Abbas is telling the truth about the Quran and this is what the Prophet of Allah he said that means Muhammad is a fraud and Allah is a joke do you accept what Ibn Abbas said you brought up 42 verse 52 the matter. other day and, you are and the when one, I and you are the can one I finish who, talking you, you, you don't let me talk you no know, I'm letting you talk you are the one who accept Ibn Abbas did you accept Ibn Abbas or not can I explain to you no do, do not there's no need for explanation do you accept Ibn Abbas or not I accept him but okay. you're not letting me finish okay, to guys, put the dots together there's no need to dots here we go read and we will go to the verse after the verse you mentioned about Ibn Abbas explained go ahead tell me how Ibn Abbas explained the Quran go ahead because he's the one I'm, who knows the Quran meaning. Go ahead. You put the tafsir of verse 52 I am showing and we will you now finish the tafsir that. of Ibn Abbas. Ibn Abbas is a book. The whole book is not only a page you choose. So you well, you we were talking you about accept, that topic. You accepted Ibn Abbas and now you don't want Ibn Abbas no more. Why? No, you. Why you. you don't, why you don't you are the one Abdul. you are the one why, that put that topic you are the one who chose ibn abbas why you don't exactly ibn okay why i you said so go why, why and you don't i'll want, explain to you why you don't want ibn abbas no more be honest I'm with me. you're not letting me okay. talk uh, here we go i'm not letting him talk i'm asking you why you don't want to accept ibn abbas you put surah shura verse 52 up we, there we right or wrong there. is that ibn abbas or not 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 for that verse not that for that verse so Ibn Abbas is wrong in this verse no I'm not saying that okay so you are, not, you are not saying that is he right about this verse you're jumping topic to topic okay, why it's hard for you to say he is right about this verse or he's wrong because you're you're jumping topic to topic okay, like a monkey. Say, for, the sake, for the sake of argument I jumped why you don't say yes or no and we will go there right away so go there and we will come back we, no we go no you will not be back we will finish it and we will not be back we were done with this so tell me do you agree with this or not you you are a very funny individual for sure i'm very funny here we go <laughs> i got you busted the one who explained the quran is an idiot so how you accept an idiot to be the one who explained the quran for you so you, either you because say, when i told so, you uh, because, i told you so, the answer. so you agree that he's an idiot now you said because when I told you. You just said I because. never said that. So, so no. Is he an idiot then or not? Do you accept what he just said? I I never said he's an idiot. So tell me what he is. Don't. Is he telling the truth about the meaning of the Quran, or he's lying, or he is an idiot? He is the cousin of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. He is one of the best people to okay. give tafsir. He is the best people to the gift of seer. Okay, so the tafsir proving that it's time to be false. No. Well, no, he says there's a mountain no. overlooking you, the earth. <laughs> you, you, you always, listen, you listen, always Abdul, get one small thing. Abdul, no, out. I'm not taking a small thing. This is a big thing. You do. Because he is the best one to explain the Quran. Even your prophet, he named him as, as, the, are, ink, as the ink of the afraid. scholars. He is the ink of the scholars. So if this one is the most qualified, according to Muhammad, to explain the Quran, and this is explanation for what Allah says by Qaf, that means the Quran is a joke. You are so afraid to so, talk to me. Let us see who is afraid. Do you are afraid. You're not letting me do talk. Do you accept this verse interpretation? Yes or no? You are afraid to talk to do me. Do you accept this interpretation? No or yes you know, or no? You don't do this with the other people you debate. When it comes to me, you do this stuff. Ah, 
I, we have a, a chain of videos about you people laughing at you, and this is one of them. And no, you know uh, they're your supporters. You know of course they're gonna. Okay, do you think Farid will laugh at me? I have a challenge for you. Do you think Farid will laugh at me? Don't to mention Fifi for me. You are, you are like a, you, you must be a homo. Keep talking about your girlfriend. Talk to me as a man and be a man. When that girl, yeah, she, so, when that so girl, don't she, jump. when that girl, she dare to talk to me, then mention her name until she call me that she does not exist. So I'm asking you now: Do you accept what Ibn Abbas is saying? Yes or no? I accept what Ibn Abbas says, but don't jump topic to topic. Okay, so you promise me now we go back to this topic after we go to the topic you mentioned. Do you promise? Correct. All right. I That's, do. He accept what Ibn Abbas he said, so he will not say no ever. Let us go. And this is Ibn Abbas. And you are the one who chooses it, remember. Go ahead. Uh, go ahead. Go okay, ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, this is Ibn Abbas. Read that for us. I studied this stuff. <clears throat> okay, you studied this stuff. That's why you choose it, right? Okay, read it. It's loading. Hmm. Why you read it? Open it in your size. You transfer to verse 52? Read it, yes. People will laugh at you for choosing this interpretation, you idiot. You are, okay. a, you are a certified donkey. Okay, yeah. Okay, oh, okay. yeah, yeah, read, yeah. Okay, read, okay read. whatever. Read. If they mm -hmm. laugh at you, not Okay, read. Mm hmm Okay, glad. There you go. Now you just hmm. embarrassed yourself. Let us see. And thus we have, and thus have we inspired in thee, Muhammad, a spirit of our command. We sent you Jibril with the Quran, <coughs> though knewest not what the scripture was, knewest not what the scripture was again. You did not know what the Quran was before the coming of Jibril to you. Nor did you know how to recite the Quran before it came to you, nor what the faith, nor did you know the call to Allah's divine oneness. But we have made it the Quran a light and exposition of commands and prohibitions, the lawful and unlawful, the truth and falsehood. By means of the Quran, we guide whom we will and whoever deserves it of our bondmen. And lo, do, verily, guide to call onto a right path a straight and true religion if yeah. you don't understand that then you're an idiot okay let's see how stupid you are you are the one who chose it right right Guys, i understand it you do not know how to recite the quran before the quran come to you look at the stupidity because you didn't, he you didn't, didn't hold on hold on hold on you do not know how to recite the quran until the quran come to you but he have no quran to learn how to recite it there was a quran before he came i mean you don't know how to eat the pizza until we sent you pizza but how how he how you can say he do not know how to recite the quran if there was no quran yet and reciting the quran is just repeat after me i mean what do you mean do you know reciting the because, quran is just repeat uh, after me the angel he said say this he said that after so you do not know how to recite the quran who is the stupid fool he can believe in such a garbage how okay. he will know hold on is can that, i answer is that a knowledge how to recite the quran or repeating can i answer answer is it a knowledge to recite the quran or it's a process of repeating uh, let me explain it to you. I'll answer. No, I want the answer. Is it a I will answer Is you. it a knowledge of reciting the Quran or repeating process? When 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 the Quran wasn't preserved to him, how would he know how to read it if this he didn't see question. it? This you sound question. so stupid. Go, go one by one, people laughing. Is reciting the Quran, is it a knowledge or a process of repeating? You know, it's a knowledge if people can read it with understanding. I mean, you can read it too, but okay, you don't understand on. it because hold you're on, an idiot. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, <laughs> you stupid. Recite has nothing to do with understanding. You are a donkey. Recite is to say something from your memory. Do you agree? Wait, say something from your memory yes. or look at the text? Recite, what does that have to do with memory? Okay, because you, you are the one who chose the word recite, not me. Okay. Okay, and recite is saying something in your memory. You are jumping all over the I'm place. Jumping, I'm trying to I'm answer jumping. you. What the word recite mean? Yeah, recite when you read something. No, reciting is saying something from your memory, reading something else. So either he was reading or he was reciting. Which one? That That's what it says over here in the tafsir. I'm asking you, is the word recite reading or it was repeating? No, well, you don't know how to speak proper English okay, because reciting is considered reading. You are right, I don't speak proper English, but we can go to the dictionary. Recitation is saying something from your memory. Yes or no? 
he memorized it from his memory but how when he you heard memorize it? it he did not receive quran yet are you can you read properly you did not Abdul, know Abdul, what the quran Abdul. was before when, the coming when the of angel, when the angel came to muhammad what is the word he said to him the the, the angel uh -huh. told him that you did not know how to recite the quran before it came to you where it says that to him right there did no. you nor did you this know how to recite right? the this quran is the word of the angel to you? this is the angel talking or allah hmm? this is the angel talking when angel gabriel came to him uh -huh. okay mm -hmm. it told him to you nor do you know how to recite the quran before it came to you this nor the happened. faith this is not what happened what is the first word uh, the angel he said to, to muhammad this guy i don't know i, I i'm explaining Abdul, to him he's asking, asking me asking you, you are a coward you are a coward like your father muhammad i'm asking you what is the first word the angel Jibreel said to muhammad when the angel Jibreel came to Muhammad, yes. the coming of the angel Jibreel, okay? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What he said to him? It's explaining to you in the tafsir. What I don't he, need to just tell you. No, you need to tell me. Tell me what is the first word he said to him. What, 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 is, that, what is that proof anyway? You're stupid. Why do you don't want to answer? Because that will prove what is the first word he said to him. Give me the answer. What is the first what, word he said to him? What, but what is that proof? I am proving that you are a donkey. Answer me, please. What is the first word he said to him? You know the answer because you read it. No, you are the one who is going to answer it. Are you, and you are scared to say it. I'm not scared to say okay, it. Okay, <laughs> so what it is, what he said to him? What he said to him? I, I gave you the tafsir. No, read no, the tafsir. No, 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 no. I want you to tell me what is the first word the angel said to Muhammad when he came to him. First time And ever. I told you. What? The angel Jibril told him, uh -huh. told him that you did not know the book nor faith. So are you saying that the first chapter Muhammad he received was that chapter or what the verse? What? I say to you, you idiot. You see, you are in the corner. You do not know how to get out like a rat. What is the first, the first, the first, the first word the angel said to Muhammad? You keep saying to me, he said to him, you do not know what recite, what, what revelation, and you do not know what faith. This is what is the first thing angel he said to Muhammad? You keep repeating that. You have no idea what you're talking about. I'm Why are you jumping you, to what is the topic? first? You see, you see how stupid you are. I challenge you to download this video, put it in your, in your channel. People will die laughing at you. What is the first thing the angels bring said to Muhammad? You said this. You do not know what faith. You do not know what is what what, what is revelation. You are the one who said that, and you repeat it many times. Are you? Are you? Saying clearly. I am very sure that this is the first thing he said to him. Yes. So the story about the first revelation he received in the cave of Hara is a lie. What, what, what? What, what, what? Mr. Duck, the story of the revelation of Hara, the cave of Hara, is a lie. Because supposedly that is the first revelation Muhammad received, not this one. The, the Quran is the final revelation. Stupid, what do you not understand? Stupid. This is not the, this, this is not the question. We ask you, what is the first revelation Muhammad you say, he said you receive? You said this, verse number 52. Now the question is, so the story of Muhammad receiving revelation where Allah, he said to him, Iqra, and this is a chapter in the Quran, you idiot. That is not the first revelation according to you. The the, the, the Quran but, 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 is the but, but, final revelation. But, 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 this is another question. But, 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 hey, 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 now you switch from duck to a frog. This is not, you see, you are in the corner. The first revelation you said is verse number 52. And you repeat it a hundred times. Now I'm asking you. So the revelation of Reed, it is not the first one. Do you agree? Because this is the first one. You you can't stay on one topic. You you jump all you over the place. That you put yourself in the corner. This is the topic you, because you are the one who said this is the first revelation brought to him. We are not changing the topic. I, so, I you're, you're twisting so, so my now words. Look, look, guys, look this guy. This guy he said that his prophet is a big fraud and he is a liar. The first revelation is nothing as Muhammad he said in the hadith where he said that the angel come to me and he squeezed me three times and each time he said to me read. He did not say to him this verse. 
What does that have to do with this? Because you said the first revelation Muhammad you receive is a chapter 42, verse number 52. I said that? Yes. <laughs> I said that. Get lost. You see why I hang up on you? After I wash the floor with you, after I clean my shoes with you, and then you deny what you repeated for the last hundred time in the last two minutes. You donkey. You said that. You donkey, you son of muta. You are a joke. I challenge you to download the video, to put it in your channel, and tell people I did not say that to CP. He is lying. I ask I'm you trying to, say, to explain you to you. You don't let me talk. Get lost. For a hundred times I ask you, and you said, yes, this is the first revelation he received. Yes, this is what the angel said to him. Yes. <laughs> I made victory of a Christian prince. I made him hang up on me. <laughs> and I wanted Ibn Abbas. Show me Ibn Abbas. And I accepted Ibn Abbas. And when we show him Ibn Abbas, he don't want Ibn Abbas no more. And look what Ibn Abbas he said. Ibn Abbas, he made a big poo-poo. Muhammad, he do not know the citation of the Quran until the Quran come. This is what the verse is saying. I mean, what? Brother and sister, before Zibril come to Muhammad, the Prophet did not know how to recite the Quran, as if he had a Quran to recite it. This is, can be said if Muhammad received Quran, and he have it in the shelf, and he do not know what to do with it. Then Jibril came and he says, okay, Muhammad, let us open this book and we'll teach you how to recite it. But this is not what happened. <laughs> A recitation of the Quran and do not need to teach it because it's a process of repeating. And the first time you repeat it is not a recitation, by the way, because recite is saying something from the memory. Here we go. You go to the English dictionary. Recite. Recite is repeat aloud of a, a, a declaim a poem or a passage from the memory. So, if Muhammad, he do not know how to recite the Qur'an, until the Qur'an come, that is the most stupid statement ever to say, because the Qur'an confirmed two things. You do not know what book. Not the Qur'an. Any book. And you do not know what faith. Any faith. He has zero faith. And when this idiot tried to save Muhammad saying, oh, because this is the first revelation Muhammad received. And then when we got him busted, he says, did I say that? Go just three minutes before and you will see, you said that. People, they can go right now forward, so backward in the, in the video. And you hear me how many times saying to you, are you saying this is the first revelation Muhammad you receive? And you said, yes over and over and over. 